you. That's right. Thanks, Rick. The Media Center, a popular place. For one, we're under shelter, but yes, a very big announcement. And before I introduce the individuals you see on the stage, I do want to remind everyone in the Media Center that we are currently live on NBCSN for this big announcement. Sitting here at the table, we have Harry Scott Jr., the owner of H. Scott Motorsports, driver Clint Boyer, and Risa McGuire, the executive vice president for sales of Five Hour Energy. So for the big announcement, Clint, I know this is the missing piece of the puzzle for you. I'm going to turn things over to Harry Scott. Good afternoon. Thank you, Krista. Uh, it, it's my pleasure this uh, afternoon to announce that Clint Boyer will be driving for H. Scott Motorsports in 2016. Clint's a 10-year veteran that brings leadership, experience, and winning ways to our organization. Clint's personality and enthusiasm for racing uh, is going to be something we're going to welcome to our organization. And although he'll be with us only for one year, we plan to make the most of it on and off the track. Our goal next year will be to win races, to make the chase, and contend for a championship. Right, Clint? That's exactly right. <laughs> Better be. I'm equally excited to announce that Five Hour Energy, his long-term sponsor, will, will return for his tenure with us as his primary sponsor in 2016. Um, Clint and Five Hour Energy have formed a very special relationship and partnership over the past four years, and Clint and Five Hour Energy have become synonymous in the garage and among millions of race fans. So when I started this team two years ago, I did so with the goal of organically building an organization that would one day contend for championships in the Sprint Cup Series. Now with Clint as our driver, sponsorship from Five Hour Energy, our relationship with Chevrolet, with Mr. Hendrick and his organization, and with Stuart Haas Racing, I feel that we have all the ingredients necessary to achieve that goal. So it's a, it's a very big day for our organization. And with that, I'd like to officially welcome you to the H. Scott Motorsports family. Thank you very much, Harry. Um, Five Hours very excited about this because we get to keep the, our brand ambassador, our brand ambassador, who we have really enjoyed the relationship over the years. We're obviously disappointed when the announcement was made um, at MWR. Um, because we did build a lot of good relationships there, but we're very excited to be with Harry Scott and Clint at the new race team. Thank you. Clint, we're going to open it up for questions, but I think just to start off, if you can just talk about, I use the analogy, a, a puzzle, the missing piece of the puzzle for you. Uh, this seems like a, a really good fit uh, on, all, on all fronts. Yeah, what a, a whirlwind year, you know, to, to <laughs> say the least. Um, you know, the neat thing about all of this is, you know, you build these relationships, these partners with, with the sponsors, and, and I've never had one like I've had with Risa and everybody at Five Hour Energy. It's a family. Um, that relationship, the bond there is is second to none to anything I've ever seen in the sport. So with that, you know, you go through these trying times and the uncertainties and, and you know, what next? What does this mean? You know, the neat thing is, is there's always that phone call to Risa, and, and she has that same question to you back. That's the, that's the good thing about all of this. And that being said, uh, with the announcement Wednesday of, of you know, going to be in Tony Stewart's ride, um, all right, now we've got to figure out what are we going to do next year? You know, how are we going to make next year the biggest splash possible for, you know, not only myself, but for Five Hour Energy? And, and Harry Scott was, was uh, you know, the lead candidate in, in all of that. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of weird as, as we've gone through this together. Um, you know, there's always been that door that's always the, the one that's the, that opens the easiest. And Harry Scott was definitely that. Uh, looking forward, you know, the, the, the marriage that he has with Hendrick, with, with uh, Stuart Haas organization. I mean, that's very strong, and it's something that I'm looking forward to building on. And, and um, you know, I, I just think that that's where we're going to have our success. You know, Harry's a, a young, uh, very aggressive owner that we need in this sport and and to have this together and, and tie my name to h scott motorsports is something i'm looking forward to and uh get back to our winning ways and we're going to open it up for questions if it, questions for clint risa or harry do we have any here in the media center i can't see it okay sorry i can't see Jim Motor, motorsport.com for harry as you pointed out having clint just for one year but what do you see the benefits of having a driver of uh, 
puts quality and what can he bring to your organization that will then turn around and help it long term? Well, I think, uh, Jim, that's a good question. I think Clint will help us long term because he's, he's basically going to be able to help us kind of reset our program and, and set the bar higher going forward. And uh, with his with his experience again and, and his leadership and and his enthusiasm, um, I, th I think it'll be contagious amongst the, all the team members. And I think going forward, he'll help us uh, form a even stronger relationship with Stuart Haas, and and that will obviously be beneficial to us. In the back, uh, Zach Atanzo, a fun stretch. Um, so, Clint, on a personal level, what do you feel of Tony Stewart's announcement and what he's meant to your career? Yeah, I mean, Tony's, you know, that was a, a hard thing for me, you know. I mean, it's it's obviously a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but uh, with that opportunity, you lose, you know, one of the boys, like I said, Wednesday. I mean, that's that's a, a champion of the sport, a guy that I've always, you know, enjoyed just because of our backgrounds, but uh, um you know, with that, I mean, look at the, the obvious, the, the wonderful opportunities that have happened um, because of all this. I mean, that's that's that first, you know, opportunity that came Wednesday and then this. I mean, it's just like Harry and, and Jim asked him just a second ago, you know, what does this mean long term? This means for me to answer that question and be a part of and allude to what he said is, you know, I don't want to leave Harry with with nothing at the end of this. We're going to build a, a great um, program here and and when I leave there I want to be able to leave there um, him having a, a winning organization and, and a established um, team to where he can he can put the next driver in and, and uh, you know go for broke just like he did uh, you know with with us so that is is what I want to do with H Scott Motorsports next year Kenny with NASCAR.com question for Clinton or Question for Harry. For Clint, what, what's the downside to only getting to race one year with an organization, knowing you're not going to be there the following year? Well, anything could be a downside if, if you allow it to. I mean, it's going to take hard work and dedication. Um, you know, it's going to take funding. Uh, we, we have to, to have all these, and we have all that put in place at H. Scott Motorsports. Uh, I've got the, the best of the best. When you talk about equipment, we've got you know, uh, Hendrick Engines. We, we've got ties to Stuart Haas organization. I mean, these are these are the guys that are winning the races, and I now have that that bond, that connection to these this kind of equipment. So for me, as a race car driver, that's huge. You know, and and I think uh, there isn't a downfall. When I look at next season, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there's not any pressure. You know, we're building a, a, a. You know, I mean, Harry's he's got a wonderful organization. I mean, look at he's spread clear across this sport in in so many ways. Um, Xfinity Cup, uh, uh, his uh, um, the K and N. Thank you. It's you. Sh you should have already won a race by now, right? Should should, have, we should have already run it by now. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, to the point, it's he spreads, you know, so so uh, drastically across this sport. It's neat to be a part of that. I mean, I want to do more racing, right? I'm a race fan. If I can't be a part of it, I want to be using, uh, you know, and helping his K and N guys, helping the Xfinity program, and being a part of all that. So I'm looking forward to it. I have a question for Risa. Clint mentioned that if, when he has a question, he calls you as the brand ambassador for five hours. Those phone calls, I imagine, could come at any hour of the day. <laughs> uh, yes, they can come at any hour of the day, for sure. But he is a great brand ambassador for five hours. The relationship has been wonderful. And with our customers, they support him 100%. Our company supports him. And he's just done a great job for us for the last, what, four years? Four years. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. For, for Harry, what does this mean as far as next year? We're looking at three teams out of eight Scott Motorsports. The year after that, do you stay at three? Do you Are you going back to two? Well, we really haven't ruled out anything for 2016 or, or beyond. So, um, you know, I, I'm not, not prepared to, to give you a, an answer on that because I just don't – I simply don't know at this point. Lee? Lee Spencer, Motorsport.com. Clint, at 36, can you talk about all these opportunities that are in front of you now? I mean, your career at, at MWR, although it was you know great at the time, has been disjointed at times. But to have the kind of stability that you need to really accomplish what you kind of set forth doing when you first got to RCs, you know, years ago. I mean, is this 
going to give you that opportunity to, you know, finally make your mark in the sport? Absolutely. I mean, this is arguably the best opportunity that I've ever had in, in, in my whole career. And, and it's it starts here at H. Scott Motorsports and it just keeps building. And that's the neatest thing about all of this. I mean, I, I loved my opportunity that I had. The people, the culture at MWR was a lot of fun, a great home for both Reese and I. Um, that day is over with. And, and that brings nervous times, you know, for a race car or for anybody. I mean, it, all right, so you've lost your job. What does that mean? What, what do we do? You know, and to be able to come out of all that and, and uh, be smelling like roses, like I said, Wednesday, is just amazing. I mean, it's it truly is become the best opportunity I've ever had at winning races and, and competing for a championship. We're going to continue to ask questions to Clint, Teresa, to Harry. But in the meantime, uh, we're going to throw it back to the NBC broadcast booth to Rick, Jeff, and Steve. And I know, Rick, we're very excited to see this partnership, this family, as Clint said, continue next season. Claire? Is there one? Claire? Where are you at, Sirius? XM NASCAR Radio. And we're carrying this live on Sirius XM as well. And I want to ask you, Harry, about the, the people that will be at your company. You don't know exactly how you're moving forward. And Clint, for you too, will you bring anyone with you? Are there people that you work with that you want to bring uh, to see the organization? Or is that sort of undecided at this point? Yeah, on my side, of course, there's a lot of people that are at, at MWR. You know, I mean, uh, um, there's there's so many good quality people, and, and all obviously it means a lot to me that they land in good homes and everything, and I'm trying to do everything I can do, you know, to help them as well. But, I mean, hell, let's face it, I had to, I had to take care of Clint for a little while here. You know, I didn't know what Clint was going to do, but uh, now that this is set in stone, it's announced, and we know – all the pieces of the puzzle are put together. Now, obviously, uh, my, my focus now is, is to make sure that everybody gets a good home. So about sponsorship moving forward, once he moves over to Stuart Haas Motorsports, do you know what's going to happen with our energy then? Right now, we're just concentrating on 2016, and we will announce and decide on 2017. We have plenty of time to do that. Joseph Wilkin, FrontStretch.com. Working with Ferrari for a rather young team. Have you compared yourself to what Casey Kane and Kurt Busch did a few years ago? Yeah, um, you know, I do. You know, I talked to Casey. Casey and I are actually uh, really close, and, and I asked him about, you know, this very opportunity, and, and, and you know, he, he went through it. He landed at a, at a great home, and, um, you know, I don't look at it as a, you know, that, that – fill in that void you know I mean this is an opportunity to to take advantage of something when I walked into MWR things were hitting on all eight cylinders they were running good and we took advantage of that we capitalized on that we won three races and, and ended up finishing second in the championship that year that was a great opportunity I see that opportunity with H Scott Motorsports they're ready they've got the the people in place um, they have all the the pieces of the puzzle Addington a winning crew chief uh, you know steering uh, uh, the ship and, and I'm, I'm looking forward to capitalizing and pouncing on that opportunity Dan Dan, Dan Gelston the Associated Press Harry you mentioned uh you're hoping this would restart, reboot the program. You know, you, right now you're 30th and 36th in the standings. Why aren't you guys as far ahead as perhaps you'd like to be? Is it a matter of the drivers or the funding or the cars? Well, I mean, I, I think a lot of it has to do with just being a young race team. You know, we're, we haven't completed our, our full second season yet. So, uh, you know, a lot of it comes with, with trying to get get the guys together and get them gelled and get them gelled with drivers that are relatively inexperienced. And, and we've, since I bought Phoenix racing, September of 2013, we, we've basically replaced everything there. So we've got, you know, we've got new cars, we've got, you know, new simulation, um, new guys working together. And, and so when you, when you try to put all that together, you know, it, it takes a while to get it all to mesh. And, and I think, you know, there's been some of that. There's there's been some luck that's been been less than great. But uh, overall, I think with where we've come in the last two years, if if you step back, if I step back from it and look at it, I I think it's pretty amazing. And I, and I and I think we're on an upwards trajectory. And to me, you know, that makes me more optimistic than anything else.
Kelly Crandall from PopularSpeed.com. Clint, you've been sort of a calming face the last couple months as things have developed with Michael Walter Bracing, focused on keeping the guys, focused on finishing out the year strong. But I'm curious internally, what have you gone through to get to this point as you've tried to figure out what you're doing for 2016, and how did this deal come together? Well, it's like I said earlier, it's been a whirlwind. It's been trying times on everybody. Uh, um, you know, Casey and Chip and I have been down at the office a lot. I've uh, been on a phone call, with, you know, with Reset. Maybe it's it's 10 a.m. and it might be 10 p.m. You know, it's or it's or or on vacation. <laughs> you know, it's it's just uh, it, it's a big deal for me. It's my life. It's my career, and and um, you want to make sure that you don't mess it up. Um, you know, I, just like I said earlier, you never know when when one door closes. That next door is an opportunity. You got to make sure you get the best of it and, and make that uh, the best you can for yourself and your partners. And I think we've done that um, in a big way. Lee Spencer Motorsport.com. Risa, um, what is it about Clint? I mean, you know, we all know what a what a great guy he is, and you know, life of the party kind of dude. But um, you know, from your perspective, what is it about him that you know keeps Five Hour coming back? Um, Clint is just a great um, with our customers. He works really well with our customers. He goes above and beyond at our hospitality trailer, at events that we ask him to go to. You know, he never counts like how many, you know, he's done before. He's just always there to help us. And his personality is dynamic. Our customers love him. They have a great time around him. And our company has a great time with him. So. It's just all around, he's a good fit. When we hire people at our company, the first thing we look at is do they fit in our organization as a person and the personality? And that's what we did when we were um, looking at drivers and he just fit perfect. And how many races will Five Hour be on the car next year? Um, 24. Super, and, and Clint, you mentioned Addington earlier. Have you locked in on a crew chief yet? Is, is he expected to be your crew chief for next year? It's been everything we can do to get this announcement to you as soon as possible. I mean, it's it's amazing how fast everything happened. Uh, you know, thinking back at Pocono, when I told, you know, you everybody came looking for answers. I'm like, guys, I don't have them. I have no clue what I'm going to do. And, and we're working on that. And all the while, we're trying to make the chase and trying to be competitive and, and compete for a championship. And, you know, it's just crazy all the things you have to juggle in this sport, but it's part of it. I mean, that's we're all big boys, and, and it's a uh, that's that's the business of NASCAR. You know, there is business behind closed doors and, and behind the scenes and, and not on camera, which you see on Sundays. But uh, um, like I said, I couldn't be more happy and excited for what's ahead. I mean, it, it's just crazy to think back how my career got started a race in one race in Nashville, and Richard giving me an opportunity to uh, that that door closed and, and walked in the door at MWR and immediately started winning races and having a lot of fun and created a big splash to that door closing and freaking out and, and landing in an even a better situation with H. Scott Motorsports and even further and beyond with Stuart Haas Motorsport. MayorManNASCAR.com. Clint, can you give us a brief timeline of, of when you found out about MWR and then if the Stuart Haas deal came together before the H. Scott Motorsports deal and if they had any guidance for you of, of maybe where to go or if H. Scott came first? Well, I mean, it was, shoot, I don't, I don't even remember. It's been so crazy. But that Pocono was the first time that, that I was at a racetrack and, and got the, read the same, you know, uh, uh, press release as you did and then showed up at the track trying to figure out what that means for everybody. But from there, um, you know, the you got you to gotta land and secure a deal. You know, you hear about, it's like I said, Wednesday, you hear about Tony and, and um, needed to make sure that if there wasn't an opportunity. I mean, I'm a racer. You know, we all want to be successful. And to be successful, you got to be around the best uh, equipment available and you start to top. You know, I mean, that's that's where my phone was, was dialing. And, and certainly... Um, that was my first ask to Stuart Haas Racing and seeing if there was a home for me there. And from there, that created a little bit of a interesting dynamic uh, to try to figure out what we're going to do for 2016. Now you're back on the phone with Risa and, and trying to figure out, 
you know, what what uh, is the best opportunity for her, too. So the neat thing is it's this is a perfect opportunity and a chance for us to build. Um, Harry has a lot, to, uh, you know, on the line. Is, uh, I'm really thankful and excited about H. Scott Motorsports. This is, this is a big deal for both of us. I got you. you have a race this week too. We um, do. Need to win to get win to go forward. How do, do you see your chances? And is the weather going to impact that at all? It is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you think we're going to race this weekend? Next week? Is the hurricane going to hit? Who knows? <laughs> the only thing I know is I'm going to be driving for H. Scott Motorsports next year, and Stuart Haas after that, and. Um, you know, it, we do have a, a lot on our table. Uh, we've we've got to uh, we got to win, you know. And, and believe it or not, uh, last year's champion has to win as well. There's a lot of guys that have a lot to uh, to lose, but this has been a fun track. We've won twice in the Xfinity Series here. I love this place. It's a lot of fun. It's hard to explain a lap around this place because your your workload is through the roof at this place. How we don't wreck every other lap around here is beyond me. I mean, it, it's, it blows me away that we actually can think about a green flag pit stop at this place and somebody hasn't wrecked. It's just that uh, hectic and, and exciting around this place. But um, I'm looking forward to this weekend or next week or whenever. Mike Chesney with the local CBS station here in Dover. Um, kind of took the question I was going to ask you, but... Um, the hurricane does look like it's gonna it's gonna miss. But can you address over the course of this week? I'm sure you guys have been keeping a really close eye on the weather situation. It did wash, you know, rain did wash out today. Can you can you talk about that a little bit? Well, I can talk. The first uh, we were worried that we weren't going to be able to get Risa here. <laughs> <laughs> That's where my main concern was going into this week. Is oh no, we need to announce this. We need to get it off our off our chest, and and I need Risa there to do that. So. Uh, we had to get Risa in Memphis, and we got her here. We've announced this thing, and I think the hurricane's going to leave, um, you know, and, and I know it's going to rain. Are there any other questions? Okay. We've got one more. This will be the last one. Lee? Lee Spencer, Motorsport.com. Harry, have you uh, settled in on a number yet? Are you guys still trying to get a number? And I do have one after that. Uh, Lee, we haven't determined what number we're going to use. We... Um, we're we're working on a couple possibilities and and uh at the at the appropriate time we'll we'll announce that once we secure it for sure and as probably the youngest guy that owns a race team out in the cup garage um are you happy with how the meetings are going towards the next step as far as you know organizing the teams and what have you following the the owners meeting on on uh wednesday afternoon yeah absolutely there there are a lot of very very smart people who are um, who are invested in 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 that process, and um, I have a lot of confidence in in er in what everybody's trying to do, and I think both the owners and NASCAR are, are pulling the rope in the same direction, and um, I think that you know has that ever happened before? <laughs> it was a historic meeting, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we uh, I, I do have confidence that that what ends up coming out of that. Out of that, out of this process, will be good for the sport. It'll be good for the owners, the drivers, our sponsor partners, and for NASCAR. Do you think it'll attract more younger drivers like yourself to come in the sport? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you all. Congratulations on the announcement. And I, I know the weather has affected some things. Is there still we're going to play check for Trevor? For the brave souls who would like to venture <laughs> outside, there is going to be a photo opportunity uh, with Clint, with Risa, and with Harry at the car. So thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.